so now we are starting the class today the name of this class is tcm so in this workshop we are going to discuss the basics of acupuncture as well as the six chinese families the description about the meridians theory of acupuncture and the, these are the syllabus which we are going to discuss the clinical explanation of yin and yang the details of the five elements and these are the different roles like mother son law control cycle and all cupping therapy and so these are the syllabus so we have, we will move as per our syllabus these all are the point like distal point front view points 60 transporting point planning any treatment just by using the 60 points and clinical study so we have to complete this much syllabus in this class okay <clears throat> so let's start from the number one the basics of acupuncture or six chinese families yesterday we already talked about that yesterday we already talked about that <clears throat> now today we will go in very we will learn them in a very scientific manner so the first topic which you are picking from this that is the first topic is basics of acupuncture or six chinese families that is our first number so today we are going to start from the topic number 1 from our syllabus that is basics of acupuncture and six chinese families so let's start so yesterday we have talked about that what is the energy and what is the chi and we talked about the two aspect of the chi that is yang chi and that is yin chi okay so we have talked about that yes in the yesterday discussion so you can go and see the lectures of yesterday you will find in the detail so today we are going to discuss the six acupuncture families or we can tell six chinese families so let's start so first question from my side if this is a human body and we know what is the difference between dead body and live body what is the difference if there is a one dead body and there is a one live body how can we find out that one is a live body and one is a dead body the difference is if there is a live body it is full of chi it is full of energy right it is full of prana it is the live body means having breath the live body having prana vital force in the acupuncture we tell it chi q i or c h i so if chi is flowing in our body if chi is flowing in the human body then there there should be some root because if i want to go from the mumbai to hyderabad i have to go from certain route so in the same way when energy is flowing in the human body there should be some route either it will flow like that or it it will flow like that so there should be some specific route and there is a route that is true so first question arises that how many energies 
or how many chi or how many vital energies flowing from top to bottom in the human body so the answer is it cannot be countable it may be infinite the energy who is flowing in the body number cannot be counted and it is infinite <clears throat> if we see indian philosophy in the indian philosophy it is written that in the human body there are 72000 nadis and nadis is like a meridian and they are flowing from top to bottom and bottom to top from the certain root now question arises if it is true 72000 nadis and each and every nadi having very detailed description that how many years we need to study the whole system definitely it's not possible in one life so we have to go from the way which is possible for us because we have we should study we can give some few months few years few days but if we want to learn the 72000 nadis it's not possible to learn in a one human life so for making the study easy so that any one everyone can understand energy just has been divided in two parts the energy number 1 who is coming from heaven heaven means sky who is coming from the heaven and entering in the human body and finally merging in the earth so that is the chi number 1 or energy number 1 so the root of energy is heaven to earth heaven is in the upper side and earth in the lower side so the direction of energy is downward it is coming from the sky entering in the human body and finally merging in the earth so this is the energy number 1 the energy number 2 can be told who is coming from the earth and entering in the human body and going and merging in the sky so the second energy is starting from the earth crossing the human body <clears throat> and finally merging in the sky merging in the heaven so that is second types of energy <clears throat> the direction of energy this energy is upward who is start from the earth and go towards the heaven this is the <clears throat> direction of this energy in the acupuncture just we have considered this two types of energy who is continuously flowing in the human body so if this is the human body there are two types of energy flowing in this human body one energy 
is coming from sky or heaven and crossing whole human body and finally going down in the earth and second types of energy is coming from the earth and entering in the human body and finally merging in the heaven like if we want electricity we have seen if you want to use the electricity only one minute so if we want to use the electricity we cannot get the electricity from single wire we need minimum two wire if we want electricity one is plus one is minus one is called power and another is called earth with the combination and power and earth these together are making one circuit and we are using the electricity in the same way in the human body there are two types of energy one energy who is coming from the sky that is called plus energy that plus energy enter in the human body crossing whole the human body and finally it is merging in the earth so this is the plus energy on the same time another energy is entering in the human body and finally it is going in the sky that is called minus energy so when these two energy are working together in the human body then only energy circuit can be formed so these two energy means plus and minus in the human body are creating energy circuit and because of this circuit only the life is possible if any one energy become imbalanced then life will not be possible suppose this much the heaven energy is coming the energy who is coming from the heaven we are telling that heavenly energy heavenly chi and the energy who is coming from the earth we are telling it earthly energy earthly chi if the amount of heavenly energy and earthly energy is equal then both together are bringing balance in the human body so we are telling it is balanced state of health but if imbalance happened and any of one of the energy become more or less suppose this first energy heavenly energy is becoming more or it is becoming less than the normal this is the earthly energy suppose this heavenly energy either becoming more or becoming less so this is creating the imbalance in the human body in the acupuncture this heavenly energy has been given the name of yang heavenly energy also has been told with the name of yang chi or yang energy this energy is always reside in the heaven 
this energy always want to live in the upper part because this is very light energy so all the lighter things want to be up want to be in the upside so the heavenly chi also called yang chi who is always coming from the heaven and entering in the human body and finally merging in the earth on the other hand the energy who is coming from the earth and entering in the human body and finally merging in the sky the name of this energy is earthly energy earthly chi or we tie it yin chi yin energy yin is a heavy so always want to be down so the the place of the residence of yin is down and whenever we need it is coming from the residence coming from the home and entering in the human body and finally supplying each and every part of the body crossing each and every part of the body and merging in the sky so the energy yin and yang energy both together are creating the balanced condition of the health so these both together means yang energy from the upper side and yin energy from the down side when they are flowing properly in the human body then it is called the balanced state of body and mind these two types of energy having different different characteristic different different functions so we will see shortly so let's start further so first i would like to tell you only about the heavenly energy or i would like to tell only about the yang energy or yang chi as i told you this yang energy always enter in the human body from heaven it is entering in the human body from heaven and going down and going down and merging in the earth so this is the root so now we will see the only if we see the yang energy how enters in our body what are the areas can be supplied in the body so for that we will make here three images so image number 1 the front side of the body image number 2 the back side of the body and image number 3 neither front nor back only lateral side of the body this is the lateral side of the body so we have made the three images one is front side one is back side and one is lateral side so the yang energy also may enter in the front side of the body and the root will be heaven to earth and yang energy also may enter in the back side of the body the root will be the same heaven to earth and the yang energy also may enter 
from the lateral side of the body and the root will be the same heaven to earth what is the meaning of that if we are talking about the energy and if we are talking about the energy who is supplying the each and every part of the body then there are three possibilities because we can see the body only from three aspects either front or back or side then nothing left ultimately we have to cover each and every part of the body so the yang energy can enter and supply the frontal part yang energy can enter and supply the back part of the body and yang energy can enter and supply what is left neither front nor back over the lateral side of the body so there are three possibilities of the yang energies and the root of yang energy is always heaven to earth so when we talk about the acupuncture just we have to learn these three roots of the yang energies if these roots are clear the energy is flowing properly there is a no blockages in the root then person is healthy so when any patient is coming to us we are trying to find out some patient is complaining you doctor i am having back pain back pain the meaning of this the yang energy who supply back part of the body having some problem so we have to treat that yang energy one patient is telling you doctor i am having migraine pain on the lateral side of the head the meaning of this if the he the person is suffering with a migraine headache on the lateral side the meaning of this the energy who supply the side of the body having some problem and another person tell you that i am having problem of the block nodes stuffy nodes something block in my nodes or throat pain or some problem in the lungs <clears throat> or gas acidity indigestion any problem in the frontal side of the body so we are asking the patient do you have the problem in the frontal side he tell yes doctor it means this is the problem of the yang energy who supply in the front part of the body so just we have to rectify this is the diagnosis the patient will tell you i am having a stuffy nose so we have to see okay tell me the nose in the front side or nose in the back side or nose in the lateral side definitely nose in the front side so because nose in the front side so we have to rectify that blockages or any problem happening in the meridian who supplying the frontal part of the body so this is the acupuncture math bay the acupuncture bay means clearing the path phase properly so in this way just we have discussed the three yang energies but we know this energy is coming from heaven and merging in the earth this energy coming from the heaven and merging in the earth so in the age puncture how this energy enter suppose the human body so let's see once again about the are the three images so yang energy will enter either from the front side or from the back side or from the lateral side there are three roots only there cannot be fourth root so whenever this energy entered this energy entered from the heaven then first it is coming in the both arms so first is heaven then this energy coming in the both arm then going in the face 
third after that going in whole body the fourth is whole body this is the root for all the yang energy so if we talk about the yang energy who is supplying in the back part of the body that is also first starting from the heaven then it is going in the arms then it is going in the head region then supplying whole body so fourth is whole body if we talk about the side yang energy this energy also start from the heaven then it go in the arms then go to the face then whole body so this is the fixed root so any yang energy for starting from the heaven then it is going entering in the arms then it is crossing whole arm reaching to the face and finally supplying whole body supplying whole body and merging in the earth so this is the root of yang energy always start from the heaven and merge in the earth so first and last point is always fixed so when our yang energy is enter in the body it first come in the arms then it come in the face then in the supply whole body so let's see what is yang energy in our body as per our yesterday discussion we have done the discussion between yang and yin the meaning of yang is doing and the meaning of yin is undo doing everything undo like you are doing the work in the during the day from morning to night you are going to the office you are driving a vehicle you are taking the meetings and you are doing multiple tasks that is yang and in the night time when you are going and taking the relaxation sleeping that is yin so the meaning of yang doing something like doing a meetings driving a car working in the office these all are yang and the meaning of yin is just relax chill sleep doing everything undo both are interdependent why because if you are not doing anything then you will become lazy so the doing driving working in the office meetings all are important on the other aspect if we talk about the yin relaxation also important chilling yourself sleeping soundly properly also important so yang and yin both are always there without without yang or without yin we cannot make a complete circuit like if you are walking a lot then you have to take the proper sleep but if you are not taking the sleep one day two day three day then after few days your work efficiency will get reduced so what i want to tell you if you are working then yang is depend on the yin and yin is depend on the yang means if you want to do good work then good relaxation is required that is the yang and yin so suppose just we talk here we are having three types of yang energies 
just we talked about we are having three types of yang energies one is coming from the front side and entering from the heaven to earth one is coming from the back side entering from heaven to earth third is also on the lateral side entering from heaven to earth so this yang energy is very much required if we want to work this yang energy is very much required if we want to take the meetings we want to become enthusiastic because this yang energy is a activity force and we are getting this yang energy from heaven it is crossing our body and finally merging in the earth so whenever we want to improve our yang energy suppose this is my arm if i do like this only one one way so this is the i am improving the yang energy even if i can do in the other hand because yang energy is from the heaven first entering in the arms then it is going then it is going in the face then after that supplying whole body and finally it is merging in the earth so if i am feeling little lethargy lack enthusiastic lazy i don't want to do anything i don't want to get up in the morning and want to go for the work if i am not enthusiastic then what i can do how can i increase my yang energies start from the arm and start flowing like this crawl complete the arm then go on the face then from the face down go like that and keep on doing like that and finally go till the do like that and finally from the feet do like this in this way even i can repeat this posture in this way look at here then in this way i can do so this will increase my activity force this will make me aware alert enthusiastic and will remove the laziness because the root of yang energy is always from the heaven then it is entering in my finger then going to the face and going then from the face going down supplying whole body and finally merging in the earth in the same way because i told you about the front yang energy i can do the same thing from the for the back yang energy again i can do like that then i can take the energy from the back side then i can do in the back side then i can take energy from the back side down and we can take out the energy in the downward so the many person are doing meridian massage without oil so the meridian massage means taking your hand in the root of means as our meridian are flowing in the body so we can do this process in the front side of the body because the yang energy one yang energy who is supplying the front side of the body one yang energy who is supplying the back part of the body and third yang energy who is supplying the lateral side of the body and there is a very beautiful name has been given to these yang energies so let's discuss the name of these three yang energies so when we are talking about the acupuncture acupressure or the signs of points these are the same formula applicable so the energy who is coming from the heaven entering in the body from the front side 
and supplying whole body and finally merging in the earth. The name of this Yang energy has been given Yang Ming. This is the name which we have to remember. So in the acupuncture, when anyone tell you Yang Ming, the meaning of Yang Ming, the Yang energy who supply front part of body. So when any patient coming to us and telling doctor, I'm having a stuffed nose. So we are writing in our acupuncture language, Yang Ming is imbalance. Yang Ming is imbalance. If he tell, I am having thyroid problem, means Yang Ming is disturbed. If this person tell that I am having gas, acidity, this person having Yang Ming imbalance. If this person tell, I am having knee pain, what only in the front side, then we will tell the, the Yang Ming is disturbed and as soon as we rectify the Yang Ming problem, the, pro, the problem will disappear. So this is the acupuncture language. The meaning of Yang Ming, who supply the front side of body, Yang Ming. In the same way, if we look at the back side of the body, so this is the back side of the body. The energy who is coming from the heaven and entering and supplying the back side of the body and finally merging in the earth and supplying whole backside of the body, the name of this energy has been given Tai Yang. This is called Tai Yang. So in the acupuncture, if someone is telling you that can you treat my back pain So in the acupuncture, if someone is telling you, can you treat my back pain, who is happening here, the lower back pain, or the neck pain, or the spondylosis, or the knee pain, what in the back side? Knee pain in the back side. So we tell it, this is the problem, connected with Tai Yang. So what do we write in our prescription? Tai Yang is imbalance. So the lower back pain, which is very common nowadays, the problem of Tai Yang. The spondylosis either in the neck or the lower back, that is the problem of Tai Yang. So whenever you want to treat anyone who is suffering with upper back pain or the lower back pain or the middle back pain or the knee pain in the back side or the headache on the back side, back, 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 any back, just you have to rectify the Tai Yang. Just you have to rectify the Tai Yang. So this is the acupuncture language. So what is the meaning of Tai Yang here? The meaning of Tai Yang, who supply back part of the body, that is called Tai Yang. So 
So we have seen who supply the front part of the body. We are telling it Yang Ming. Yang Ming. The meaning of Yang Ming who supply the front part of body and who supply the back part of the body the name of this is Tai Yang. So the meaning of Tai Yang who supply the back part of body. What is left? Sight. So let's discuss about the sight. So now, the meridian who supply the back part of the body or front side of the body we have already discussed. Neither front side nor back side, the energy who is starting from the heaven merging in the human body from the side and finally merging in the earth. And who supply the side of the body? The name of this energy is Shao Yang. Shao Yang. So meaning of Shao Yang, who supply the side of the body? So meaning of Shao Yang is who supply? side of the body that is called Shaoyang. So finally we have got three. So when we talk about the Shaoyang who supply the lateral side of the body the meaning of this if someone is telling you that I am suffering with a migraine headache on the sides so this is the problem of Shao Yang. If someone is telling I am having neck pain, but in the side, side neck pain. Or we also tell it no type of pain, no means we are telling yes, this is yes, and this is no. If someone is telling doing like this and if neck is paining, so this is called no type of pain or the pain happening on the side. So if someone is having no type of pain, it means there is a problem in the Shaoyang. So we are telling it no type pain in the neck. If someone is telling you I'm suffering with the lower back pain but in the side on the side of ribs I am suffering with the knee pain or the pain in the legs or the side of pain which is in the side so this is connected with Shao Yang so we have to treat the Shao Yang so finally we have covered all the three sides. The first side is the front side. The meridian, the energy, who is supplying the front side, that is called Yang Ming. The energy who is supplying the back part, that is called Tai Yang and the energy who is supplying the side of the body that is called Shao Yang. So this is family number one, family number two, family number three.
and these three called three young families. We are having total six and three are these. So if they are having the proper information of these three young families, then we can rectify any problem happening anywhere in the body, either this is the, in the front side or it is in the back side or it is in the lateral side. So we can rectify all the problem. So these are called three young families. In the same way, if we discuss three young families, which we have just discussed, and also we discussed three yin families, so this becomes six families or called six Chinese families. And with the help of these six Chinese families, we can do all types of treatment. We can do all types of treatment.